So what is up guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Top 5 Console Mods to hit the Bethesda.net website this week. This is going to be episode 8, so let's jump into it. Reinforced Ebony Armor. This is a standalone set of Ebony Armor. Comes in two different pieces, the helmet and the armor itself. It's located in Dragon's Reek in Ferenga's Laboratory. The author put it in half a floating barrel next to the enchantment table. That is absolutely fine because it gives us a new Ebony Armor and it's standalone as well to actually have a look and play with as you can tell on screen right now it does look pretty damn clean it's a little bit of a mix up of the vanilla version which is kind of cool in a sense i really do like it as well if you want to go and check it out that's cool a links are down in the description as always throughout all of these videos it's worth just checking out and worth just having a little look fenria the timber wolf this is actually a port all the way over from the oblivion game i do believe so as it does what some say that on the description of the forum page as well the author was going to make him an ice Wolf, but after playing around with the creation kit could not find any way to actually make them sit and lay down during idling as well so we decided to make a husky companion and just make him kind of more like a wolf other thing i like about this mod as well this companion cannot die as well and he actually attacks for you which is really damn cool pretty easy to attain as well so they put him right next to errol mountains near Foral cliff there's a picture as well on the actual forum page so if you want to go and check out the exact location that's fine but if you're obviously struggling refer to this video as well or it is the peak shade tower which is just southeast of Filikan up the road to this nice little mod to have as well nice new companion it actually looks really clean as you can tell on the screen now it's kind of a large companion dog to have too I don't think you need any other requirements to have this particular companion in the game like the dogs mod which is pretty cool so obviously if you want a new companion and a nice new husky slash wolf because it is kind of big then obviously grab this one for our next spot is going to be Jack Gar's Pub. This is a port by Stealthy Wolf. Again, we've covered a ton of different ports by Stealthy Wolf, which is absolutely awesome. This pub acts like an inn. It's just outside Riverwood near the northeast. Inside, there are two vendors ready to buy and sell, and they do outfits and armors along with a variation of gear pieces as well. There were about six outfits that had to be removed from the armor shop since they could not be uploaded. Obviously, this is a port from Stealthy Wolf as well, so obviously he's had to configure all the different files. As you can tell on the screen, as well the both of the shopkeepers do have vanilla bodies but otherwise if you're running any other mods they will adapt those particular mods too to undiscover this location you will need to fast travel it to unlock it obviously if you can't fast travel to it then you're obviously going to need to walk to the destination to unlock it some pieces come with this as well a variation of different armors which are going to be listed on the page you want to go and check that as out as well and for the load order it does say if you want this to work it needs to be below any other mod just in case just to be safe as well and that is obviously anything to do with Riverwood as a whole aka overhauls or any sort of rethings or ads into Riverwood as well so just make sure it's below that but no, I really did enjoy this it was a nice new location obviously Stealthy Wolf has been hyping up this for some time now in my comments and their comments on the page as well so it's nice to see it's nice to have a dabble as well there's obviously much more than just two vendors so go and check it out guys Neb Cretin A a Daedric Artifact now this is actually spoken throughout of the Elder Scroll games this is actually part of the lore but it has never actually been put Put into any of the games as well. 16 Accords of Madness make reference to this weapon, saying the blade gives the warrior a compulsion to kill everyone when it is held. Malagath was said to be holding this weapon while he killed his son as well. So it's pretty cool to have something that obviously is embedded within the lore to do with the Elder Scroll games actually coming to the Elder Scroll games. This one is out on all platforms as well, and it can obviously be found on a new NPC boss added to the the chill little bit of a mission to get to the chill but it's nice to see that there's a new npc and nice to see there's actually a law weapon coming into the elder scrolls game we covered another law friendly artifact last episode which was going to be the vampire ring if you haven't gone and check that out go and check out last episode because that goes in conjunction with this one it's really kind of nice obviously if you like artifacts and law then this is going to be a mod for you and finally on our list is going to be Jack Guard's Monsters. This looks really cool. This is obviously a port again by Stealthy Wolf. Stealthy Wolf has a lot of permission to do these ports. It's absolutely awesome that he's bringing them over into Special Edition 2. This adds approximately 50 new monsters to the world of Skyrim. They are fully integrated into the level listing, which means they will spawn throughout the whole entire game, regardless of what your level is. Obviously, it adds a whole new variety of different monsters while playing the game, which is actually really 
really damn cool. Now, obviously, I can't show every single mob on this because obviously I'm not going to be doing a full playthrough just to go and find every single one of these monsters, but it's really nice to see. Obviously, if you can't find any of the new monsters, you'll have to save and reset and possibly even hard reset the game or even starting a new game. A little bit sad on that one as well, but obviously if you want to go and be cheeky, make sure this is at the top of your load order to check out this beautiful mod. As you can tell on screen now, we did find a few, and they did look pretty damn cool. A nice one to grab if you want to spice up your vanilla base game. If you did enjoy, hit me up with a like, comment, and subscribe already if you haven't. Either make sure to click the bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications of when we pop off videos. I'm sorry that I didn't upload yesterday and possibly not tomorrow. There's not a lot of mods I actually want to cover out on the channel just yet, which is a little bit unfortunate. I am waiting for good mods to come out in my eyes to cover them. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this mini series. And if you are, give me some feedback in the comment section below. But thanks guys for watching. Until the next one, Killer Kev here and Killer Kev out.